Hi, this is Paula J. Welcome to another episode of Secure Hacks Weekly. So today I will be showing uh, you what does it mean where you store the password in the browser, what does it mean where you store the password in uh, KeePass, and uh, we will discuss a very hardcore subject, which is Data Protection API. Uh, this is something that, uh, again, everybody talks about, but it's so difficult uh, that it's quite hard to explain it well, so I will do my best. And also, um, good news is that our team did a lot of discoveries in Data Protection API, uh, as not many teams in this world, I think I can say that. And uh, today I would like to show you one of our tools that are allowing us to extract the secrets, so maybe passwords, maybe just an access to something like Keepas database, um, so that you are able to use them uh, as a matter of some recovery maybe, or maybe not. So, if this sounds interesting for you, let's dig in. Okay guys, you should see my screen right now. I am logged on over here as an administrator, as you see. And this is a workstation of a user. And if we go into C, um, users, Freddy Krueger, update the roaming. That's the place where we've got keep us. And this is the place where we've got keep us settings for the user, including the protected user key bin. That's the encrypted key by using Data Protection API that encrypts the KeePass database. So what are we going to do? Well, uh, from the user's data, so from desktop, I have already copied to my analysis folder CQBase. Let me show you here. Yeah, that's the one. And uh, we will try to get access to it. That will be our uh, case. First of all, maybe Windows user account. Well, no, uh, I will try to specify the specific password. By the way, it's quite important for us to refer to secure. And then again, no. And uh, what, will, what will be our job? Our job will be to, to get access to the uh, KeePass database by having access to the encrypted master key of the user. If you watch my video regarding cache log of data and data protection API, that's basically one of the keys from master key containers. So this is a master key, the encrypted master key of the user, which we can, for example, decrypt by having access to the a private key that we can find in the domain controller's memory. So it's more a question about who user is and how user protects the KeePass database. So what do we have over here? Well, if we do it there, we've got over here a bunch of different types of tools. One of those, it's a CQ, CQ Data Protection API Blob Decryptor and uh, CQ Data Protection API KeePass um, DB Decryptor. These are our tools that we wrote and uh, these are the ones that we're going to be using to get access to users KeePass database. If you have a look, uh, this is something that is we call basically an entropy for KeePass. We're going to need it in order to get access to the user's database. But first, we're going to use the CQ Data Protection app API Blob Decryptor. I'm going to copy this one as one of the values. Here we go. And here, you, as we can see, we, we need master key. So that's something that I've got, entropy and blob. Um, so let's do it. So entropy maybe first. Here we go. And then we're going to copy the user's master key. And then we've got master. Here we go. And then we've got blob. And that blob, it's this file that I was talking about, which is in the user's profile, which is C analysis. And in our case, that will be the protected user key dot bin. And perfect, we've got over here this key. So this is the decrypted blob. That's the key that decrypts the KeePass database. So next tool to use will be the KeePass uh, DB decryptor. So let's get into it and what, what we have over here. Minus K for the key, that's exactly what we got right now. Minus F for the file to create a new, um, to, to specify where the database is and eventually create a new uh, database uh, with, um, you will see in a moment what. So we've got this one and then we've got key and then we've got C, so that will be minus F, C, analysis or slash F and then we've got CQ base one. Perfect. So we have just successfully decrypted the KeePass um, database. Let's have a look at the analysis folder. This is the one that is created right now. So I'm going to just try to open it. Okay. So that is the one. No, that's not the one. That's the previous one. Okay, here we go. 
So right, right, one more time. Okay. And I'll try to get access as a Windows user uh, account. Nope. And have a look at master password. And I'm going to specify the one that we actually put through the tool. Secure. Okay. And that is the way how we are able to get access to a key pass uh, database of a user. If, very important to remember, user choose, uh, chooses to, uh, for example, um, protect the database by using um, Windows credentials. So as long as we rely on Windows credentials, that's what we got if we are a member of the domain. So if you want to keep your data secret, what you need to use in KeePass is master key and password. Of course, the keys when the user is um, using the workstation that is not a member of the domain, it's a little bit different because uh, the way how we're using data protection API, it's uh, a little bit different. But uh, we either rely on the user's password, uh, that is when the workstation is not connected to the database, but in case when it's uh, to the domain, but when it's connected to the domain, then basically uh, we are uh, at that stage relying on the user's password or uh, we are uh, relying on the private key that is in the um, domain controller's memory and we are able to uh, eventually percent up data percent get access to when we go into protect these keys over here and that is the public key of the domain that encrypts user secrets. So this is how it looks in the KeePass. KeePass is a very good solution as long as, of course, we rely on master key and, for example, we can combine it also with something else. Okay, guys, that's it. So this was a lot of information. Um, we have discussed data protection API basics. Uh, we have used this in uh, practical terms like uh, getting access to user secrets. Can we do it or we cannot in what kind of conditions? Plus, uh, I've also shown you how we are able to get access to KeePass database when it's relying its protection on Windows credentials. A lot of information. Thank you so much for attending. And if you got some questions, I bet you do. Uh, post them in the comment sections below. I'm super, super curious what kind of questions you're going to have because it's a, not a trivial subject.